So let's talk about self-love, my favorite topic. <laughs> <laughs> Mine too. What is your definition of self-love? I think it's rediscovering yourself as you were from the beginning. I like to think of ourselves as David in a slab of marble where we've forgotten our true selves and we've like thrown mud and everything else on top of us thinking that we are not good enough and like unpure and everything and then we just have to chisel away everything that isn't us to get to our core our center and when we're chiseling away that is all the self-love practice and compassion so that we get to our pure loving center this self-love do you think is awareness understanding for life or a practice a daily practice? I think it's a daily practice. It's an understanding of life, but that's conceptual. And I think it's the physical daily practices and thoughts that we think about ourselves and others that really affects us. And that's the chiseling away to get to our center. Yeah. So in a way, it's unlearning more than learning, right, Karina? Mm -hmm. I think of love as a circuit. It's like we send this love outwards to others. And usually we send it out without practicing that self-love to bring it back to ourselves. So we just get more and more drained because it's only going outwards. But we, when you feel that circuit complete by loving yourself and bring that love back in, that's where you'll be refueled. And then you can continuously love and love yourself and it'll just keep going in this, um, this cycle. So the foundation self-love, isn't it? For love, we can't really give what we don't have. Exactly. Yeah, that makes so much sense to me. We'll be depleted and won't truly know the depths of our love until we love ourselves. Mm. Oh, wow. So true. What is a miracle to you? <laughs> a great question. I had thought so much about miracles, and the third part of my book is titled Miracles because I think there are miracles all over that we don't see. And they're, so I call those everyday miracles, but they're hidden in plain sight. And so it's something that it just like births so much joy from you. I have a this term I call bliss points, which is basically when you feel so much overflowing joy, it floods over your body and you can't contain it. And you're just filled with giddiness and happiness. It washes over you. And I think that we can have these miracles by if you look anywhere, you can see them and you'll just feel this bliss point. And it could just be if you're like doing laundry or if you're like kneading bread and noticing how miraculous that you're making bread out of flour and water and or seeing a flower bloom. And so there are all these little moments. And I think we just forget to see them. <laughs>